Yes, guys, some good breaking news. Liverpool have signed Arthur Mello from Juventus on loan to see if he can save this midfield crisis for Liverpool. In case you didn't know, guys, of course, it is transfer deadline day. Now, of course, we have signed Arthur Mello from Juventus to Liverpool for this midfield crisis. Now, of course, we have been playing recently Elliot, Fabinho and Henderson. Don't get me wrong, they are phenomenal players, but I do not think they can cope for the rest of the season. Not for the rest of the season, season but, but for most of the season without a new midfielder. Because, of course, Thiago, if he has another injury, what are we going to do? Um, Thiago in midfield is a phenomenal player. Uh, it feels a bit different without Thiago, as, of course, he is injured. Um, Arthur Mello recently, well, in his past, of his career, did play for Barcelona and if you don't think so in case you didn't know guys it is transfer deadline day now of course we did sign Arthur Miller from Juventus to see if he can save this midfield crisis that Liverpool currently have now if you didn't know of course or well, if you didn't know but if of course we've been playing Elliot Henderson and Fabinho lately in midfield now of course they're not going to cope always um if Thiago's injured in the in the future who are we going to sign and who are we going to have? Now, of course, we have signed Arthur Mello. Now, if you didn't know, he did play for Barcelona in his past career. And if you didn't know, he played against us in that 2019 semi-final in the Champions League. Um, and when we did battle them 4-0 at Anfield. Um, and here he is playing against us at Anfield in that Champions League semi-final um, knockout. And uh, to be fair... He is a great player. I have not seen much of him, to be fair, but I do think he will help us in this midfield crisis, uh, hopefully enough to not worry us for this midfield crisis because, of course, we've got Thiago out. Um, we've got quite a few players out. Oxley chamberlain he is in the midfield as well. Um, now, hopefully, he's going to be good for us. We can let him have a permanent signing. For Liverpool, um, he was bought for. Let me see. Well, I don't know that yet. But um, earlier, I was looking at some um, possible news that he was signing. Um, but now, of course, it has happened. I'm relieved. Um, he's a Brazilian player, so hopefully, Alisson Fabinho and of course Fabinho will comfort him in this Liverpool squad and uh, just, you know, because it's going to be a different feeling for him. It's going to be more of a challenge for him because the Premier League is a tough, tough league. I can't tell you that enough, enough guys. Um, he Hopefully, he'll be a phenomenal sign for us. Uh, but as we all, as I am saying right now, he is on loan, if you do forget. Um, he's not a permanent signing yet, but I wish he could be. If, and that's only if he does do well for us both in the Champions League and the Premier League, if we do have a midfield crisis again, possibly in the Champions League. Um, I'm very happy with this signing. For at first, I was worrying for this midfield because we can't keep playing Elliot, Fabinho and Henderson if, and that's only if, Thiago is injured again because they'll get tired. Um, we we needed a new player for midfield. Um, he can play central midfield. That's why we needed him. But also he can play defensive midfield, which is fantastic for Fabinho. So he can have sometimes off and on the pitch. Um, some, he can play sometimes in friendlies. So Because, of course, Fabinho is our main defensive midfielder. But when it's friendlies, we can play him as well um, in those friendlies. So hopefully he can be a permanent signing. But he will be joining us for the rest of this new season of the 2022 to 2023 season um i think he so he made 23 appearances for juventus scored only one goal not great um for a midfielder as well that's why he's probably on loan well that's not well i'm gonna say probably be on loan he is on loan um he of course did play barcelona um i don't know how many goals he played for barcelona but here is how much he does cost sorry if i don't know that guys I haven't checked the much information for the Liverpool signing Arthur Mello. Um, there is the signing and there is, of course, the cost of how much he did. Um, how much he did cost for this Liverpool um, sign signing. 
Um, now let me just see. It might tell me on YouTube. Because there's several, there is several um, news about Arthur Mellon signing for Liverpool. Um, hopefully, you know, Liverpool do treat him correctly. Not saying they're not very nice people because they are extremely nice people. Right, so Liverpool son, of course, Juventus midfielder, Arthur Mello. Um, I have heard about him quite a bit, though. When he played against us in the Barcelona game, I saw him quite a bit on TV. Um, in that yellow, orange, well, lime kit. Yeah, of course, we had no options for midfielder. Oh, three other clubs did not know that. Sorry if I'm doing this on YouTube, I should be knowing this myself. Um, but I only just heard it because uh, I've been to training earlier, so I might have not known it then. I, well, I couldn't have known it then. Um, I was at training for an hour and a half, I played a friendly, so that's why I didn't know much news. Hopefully this signing is a good signing to help our midfield crisis because when we played, um, of course, Bournemouth, that was going to be an easy game. When we played Newcastle, that was going to be a fairly easy game. Not an easy game, but you know what I mean. Um, I knew with this midfield crisis we would have a lot of problems because without Thiago, I'm saying this now, we are not a strong midfield. Yep, there you go. There he is. Oh, I can't. There he is from Juventus getting out of the car to the airport. I'm assuming. I'm so glad we've brought him, or at least a midfielder, to try out this midfield crisis because I'm assuming with Klopp's mind he will be good enough. Because, of course, Klopp has, you know, thought of buying him and bought him, of course. So, Klopp wouldn't be dumb enough to think he's a crap player. Um, oh, yeah, of course. Young Elliot, he, he's not going to be playing a lot of games. He's a young lad. Um, and no no, not a single thing saying about... He said it's something million. I can't remember how much it is. I can't remember. But all I can tell you guys, he did have 63 appearances for Juventus and only scored one goal. Not great. I can tell you that. Not great. Where's my TV? I'm not going to watch that crap. Not crap, but what's the point? Um, I'm hoping for more midfielders in case another, another midfield crisis. Because what if he's injured? You never know. He may not be fit enough for the following games. Everton. We don't even know if he's going to play that. Um, of course, Darwin Nunes is going to be back on Saturday for that Merseyside derby. And that's a bit of a warrior because what if they have another fight? You never know in the Merseyside derby. There's always a fight. You know what I mean? Um, but all I can say is welcome Arthur Mello, the Brazilian. Hopefully the Brazilian future king for the midfield um but yeah that is the end of this video guys hopefully he's gonna be a good signing as i've said probably numerous times in this video um he's happy he needs to learn english all i can say is that in his interview all he speaks is of course portuguese that's what brazilians speak um But, and of course, many Liverpool fans, not just me, will probably be panicking from this midfield crisis, not going to lie, because, of course, when I heard Thiago was injured, and Oxford Chamberlain as well, forget, don't forget him, I was like, what the hell are we supposed to do? We've only got Fabinho, Elliot, Henderson that could possibly play, which of course they have played, um, man... And of himself, Harvey Elliott, he was a cracking, he had a cracking game against Newcastle, playing the ball, um, just 
easy balls to different players for Liverpool. Fulham signed William on free transfer. Man United signed Martin to Bravka from Newcastle. Good signing that is. Pretty good signing. He's going to be their second keeper. Fulham signed William. William signed. That is, that's a weird one. He's gone from Chelsea to Arsenal to now Fulham. That hopefully might be a good sign for him. Um, so, hopefully he will... I, don't, I doubt he will be on the bench. He could possibly be, but I doubt he will play on Saturday. I doubt he will be trying getting fit. Um, but the following games for Liverpool. But yeah, that will be the end of today's video, guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Sorry for that noise. That's the dogs. Because I think I'm speaking a bit loud. Never mind. Um, subscribe to the channel. Do not forget that. Because I'm nearly up to 70 subscribers. And I'm trying to get my YouTube videos as... Well, I'm trying to upload as many YouTube videos as I can. To reach my goal. Um, or main goal at the, at the moment. My, uh, my main goal. But yeah. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Don't forget. If you do enjoy... If you do enjoy my videos, make sure you do smash that subscribe button, but also that like button. Do not forget. You can turn on those notifications if you want. But yeah, I will see you in the next video, guys. Love, peace and seconds. Also, guys, another bit of news. He will be wearing the number 29 for Liverpool. Forgot to tell you that. But yeah, end of the day's video. Love, peace and seconds.